What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys today. I'm going to be talking about some offensive tips here. And today we're actually going to be talking about how to, or, or rather not how to identify the open part of the field, but some tips in actually doing it. Because I've talked about identifying the open part of the field over and over again in my videos on offense, you know, my five tips to, to produce more on offense and things like that. Um, but I've never actually shown you guys a direct example of how I specifically look to identify the open parts of the field. So what we're actually going to do in today's video is I'm hopping into a game. I've sim forward a drive uh, for the CPU, and we're going to be taking over on offense. I'm going to be walking you guys through some of my thought processes whenever it comes to actually uh, reading the defense, you know, what I'm specifically looking at and, and deciding how to attack the defense and what the defense is giving me. Now, this is a good video for uh, beginners, people that aren't necessarily on the all Madden level yet, or maybe you're on all Madden, you struggle to score points. Maybe you're good on defense, not good on offense. I want to give you guys some pointers that I look for whenever I'm going on the offensive side of the ball to identify the open parts of the field. So with that being said, I'm going to just be calling some coach suggestions today. Basically, what I start off with here first and foremost is, you know, first down, I'm probably looking to run the football. So an inside zone is a good option here because I give myself options to both pass and run the football. Now, what I'm looking at here, whenever I look at this play, is I'm seeing that the middle part of the field is open here. I can get a decent chunk of yardage by simply just running the play that I have designed. Now I'm going to pop up instant replay, and I'll be doing this several times throughout this drive. Whenever you look at this play over the center, there's nobody lined up over the center. And so your halfback is going to be uh, you know, getting up to speed relatively quickly what I'm looking at before the snap is this big gap right here in front of the center this to me uh, is kind of a spread out defense uh, you know their their defensive linemen are spread out in comparison to my offensive linemen and that's giving me a window to run the ball up the middle through the center now I'm not going to get a huge chunk of yardage but I know that just based on the way that a simple zone play up the middle or kind of to the left works I'm going to have a couple yards of space there on first down start off off by getting myself a nice easy gain that's what I was looking for on that play now let's go ahead look forward to the next play so next play I could be looking to run I could be looking to set up the pass but what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna just go with maybe a flood drive for example and take a look at what the defense is giving me now the defense is giving me a couple of soft spots on this play the soft spots that I'm seeing and I'm identifying, this is probably a cover three that I'm going up against because there's one high safety and then one safety is down in the box. And so I know that underneath in the flats is going to be open and I know that some of those zones uh, kind of underneath the cover three and maybe between the cover three are going to be open. So on this play, what I identified is I wanted to pick up the first down. I didn't need to get a huge chunk of yardage and I see, okay, they have one high safety. This pretty much triggers my brain to thinking this is some type of a cover three. Now, that's not always necessarily going to be the case, but in a cover three, you know that generally there's not going to be a flat zone here. There's not going to be somebody underneath, and you can kind of see that with the coverage that they're giving you. This is kind of the open part of the field, and you might be able to pass in behind these defenders, which is kind of where the open parts of the field are. But the thing that I recognized immediately, I'm going for short yardage on this play. I noticed that the outside side part of the fields are open on both sides and so what do I do I run this play I let my drag route develop and I take the very easy first down passing it to Juju Smith Schuster or sorry Deontay Johnson to the outside run up field for a couple extra yards and it's that easy so you guys can see from the snap of the ball before the snap of the ball I don't know why Ben Roethlisberger is invisible on this play but you guys can see that there's open space right here based on the way the formations are lined up against each other based on the look that the defense is giving me this is open space this is a part of the field that you want to at least run a route to because you know it's open pre-play and that gives you a chance to actually get yardage and get easy yardage and so next play let's come out maybe we can call another run for example we can call um let's say 
We could go with a halfback power. We could go with another inside zone. Let's just go with a basic halfback dive. This is a formation where you might look at this and you might say, okay, well, they're coming out in a 4-3. They're stacked pretty heavy against me. I might want to audible to a pass, and I could audible to slant. Um, I don't see a whole lot open on this play, but I also don't see a very heavy defensive line, a lot of guys on the line of scrimmage. So I'm going to try and run it and pick up a couple of yards because I have faith in my offensive line here. You know, they're not pinched on the defense offensive line or anything like that so I have no issue running a play like this and just hoping that my one-on-one -on -one blocks get me enough yards to pick up maybe two three four yards on first down I'm not afraid to take that two or three yards on this play because I didn't see anything here that I loved you know I could have called a slant and he would come up the field and slant in and maybe right here I could hit him for a quick slant but I don't know what this linebacker is going to do he could drop into that zone he could do a couple different things and that could prevent that could cause me to throw an intercept on the slant or these guys could be blitzing and it could cause me to get sacked because I have to wait a little bit too long for the slant to develop instead you know I say okay well I have quite a few guys blocking on the offensive line yes they have a stacked formation about a 4-3 but there's nothing pinched in about this formation no obvious blitzers or anything like that and so I can probably run off of this double team here you know I see that number 69 and number 53 Pouncey are gonna have this double team here Pouncey doesn't actually help him out, and that's the guy that block sheds. But if they had a double team, I probably would have had maybe another yard or two. But that's a decent run for first down. That's all I'm looking for is a couple of yards. Now we're going to go ahead and call another play. Let's maybe go with a bunch trail. And let's take a look at the, what the defense is giving us here. So... This is a formation where I think, okay, I'm probably going to be looking for Juju Smith-Schuster to break out outset, out there on the outside. And they dropped back to cover that, and I'm not seeing a lot open. So on this formation, I did a bad job of actually finding the open man. I probably could have dumped it off underneath. Uh, probably could have dumped it down to the guy coming across the field and picked up like five yards or so because I didn't see a whole lot open. I was thinking maybe right here might be the open part of the field. And I was thinking maybe on the outside over here, Juju Smith-Schuster attacking this part of the field could be open. And it, it turns out that the defensive backs dropped perfectly to cover my primary read. And I was too slow to come back over to my secondary read where I thought this part of the field was open. But maybe you guys can see what I'm looking at looking at this play you know I'm looking at this part of the field you know not much out here not much covering this they'd have to really drop back and they would have to pretty much commit to not covering underneath what I could have done is I could have audible a player to go on an out route here which might have been more effective and and caused that defender to have to make a decision and one of those players would have been open but I also am looking at right here there's kind of a big gap between these three coverage players between the cornerback the safety and the linebacker if I attack this part of the field there's probably going to be a hole in the coverage here because of the distance between these players that's kind of where I should have been looking and as it turned out those are the players that actually got open were underneath over here and I could have probably gotten five maybe ten yards off of a play like that so let's go ahead and try to pick up this third down and see what I can do so very basic I'm going to try to call a play to get open on third down here I see that they're coming with a blitz and I'm not loving the look that they're giving me here but I think maybe Eric Ebron could get open. And I think maybe Claypool could get open coming. Juju could probably get open deep to the outside. And he does. Took a little too long to pass the ball. But if that was an accurate ball, I probably would have had a decent chance at a one-on-one -on -one catch. And this is what I'm looking at here. So they, they clearly brought a guy up to blitz. And so I'm looking at this giant seam right here up the... Up the uh, I guess the, the numbers is the way to look at it. I probably could have found Eric Ebron up here because he ended up on man coverage. But that's where I'm looking to attack as my first read. And I didn't see anything get open there, so I waited for Juju to get open because I knew he was running a deep route. No safety help over the top out here to the outside. It's going to be almost impossible for this safety to come over to a pass like this where Juju's breaking to the outside. You know, it's going to be impossible for them to come over and help. So I have one-on-one -on -one coverage. But this defense did a pretty good job of shutting everything down. I didn't actually adjust to do anything to get a man open, um, but I did identify the parts of the field that I think uh, were open. So let me go ahead and simulate forward to another drive, and we can hopefully get you guys some more good examples of targeting the open part of the field, because I did 
a little bit of a lackluster job on that. All right, so this is a good example. McDonald will probably get open here, but there's a huge, huge empty part of the field over the middle, right to the left of that middle linebacker. So this is where I could simply put Eric Ebron on a slant or maybe Juju on a slant on the left side and target that part of the field. So right there over the middle of the field, I was pretty confident that this was going to be open. You know, this is easy yardage. This is a type of a play that you guys should pretty much never hesitate and never have a problem getting yardage on something like this when they give you such an open space right here. I probably could have waited for this route to develop a little bit more and maybe hit him, yeah, like a little bit closer over this way. But as you guys can see, you know, looking at this part of the field, it didn't start with anybody in coverage in this part of the field, and it didn't end with anybody in coverage in this part of the field. Those are the things that you guys are looking for. You're looking for those, those open spaces and where to target, uh, you know, across the field as you guys drive. We can call a nice halfback base here. This one might be open because there's a nice gap there to where the pulling lineman is going to go. Too bad we get to the second quarter. This one's a good opportunity here where we could probably go. I think we might be successful if we had another player come into that gap that Juju is vacating. So let's say we have Chase Claypool come in on an in route. Not there. Tried to dump it off to my curl route. Did not find much space open there. Here's a play. This is one where this is pretty straightforward. Double slants is a go-to for a lot of people. You guys can probably see the wide open part of the field is on the right side. There's not much there in between the linebacker and the far right corner so you all you have to do is wait for the slant to develop they actually did a pretty good job of covering it able to drop the ball into the open part though here we can see the seam route is open possibly go ahead and pick up the yardage and pick up the first those are the types of things that you guys can't be afraid to do close to the first I thought he picked it up but this is kind of something that I tend to do a lot you know I think that this seam might be open if this safety doesn't drop over to help in coverage on this side of the field I made a little bit of a difficult read here um, he does t uh, actually go over to cover it but what this does is that clears out the linebacker for an easy completion underneath and so you have to have your backup ready I throw it off to Samuels and I probably if it's a, if that's any other running back they probably pick that up and I, I honestly think he did pick it up considering where that ball is. Um, but but relatively easy to see that the they're going to be dropping back in coverage. Let's go ahead and call another offensive play here. We can just go ahead with probably a halfback ISO. This is pretty straightforward. I think that we have a favorable blocking situation here. Should have no problem getting a couple yards over the center. You can go with a bench corner here. Open part of the field is obviously the middle here. That's where we clearly want to target. If we want to wait for this route to develop, we can certainly pass it to Eric Ebron or Chase Claypool, or I can immediately take Juju, put him on a slant or an in, and target that open part of the field within split seconds. I mean, that's, that's like bread and butter right there, easy money. Juju gets hit and fumbled, but that's what you're taking every single time. If you guys don't identify that, you're going to be in trouble because that's 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 like the defense giving you yardage. If especially if they don't adjust to this type of a thing, this is uh, this is very easy. You know, you have a wide receiver with inside leverage on the defensive back that is nearest to him, which means he has pretty much a free route to go inside. I mean, literally n n no effort to even stop him from running this route. And it's pretty clear that there's nobody here to actually defend the middle of the field. So you have to take advantage of that. You have to pass him the football. It's all about passing to who's open, finding that open part of the field. And obviously, <laughs> we fumbled here. Thought they might overturn it because it wasn't letting me actually super sim. And I think we can get one more drive in here before the half and give you guys a couple more examples. Obviously, I'm not playing my best because I'm actually discussing while I'm playing here. But let's go ahead and see if we can't punch in a touchdown on this next drive. Probably would have punched in a touchdown there if Juju didn't actually fumble. 
Let's go ahead and start this one off with a trap. There is a pretty good sizable hole there to where the running back is actually intended to be going. Go ahead and pick up three or four yards. Start off the drive nice and easy. Maybe call this halfback counter. I'm liking what I see on the left side of the field. They're pretty stacked heavily against me. So what I want to do here is I want to audible to something to uh, basically attack that left side of the field. I could do the tight end drive. I'm going to do tight end attack, which gives me multiple options. And you guys will see here, Ebron got open and I got his I throw. Man, that's really killing me right now. This offensive line is brutal at the moment, but you guys can see this is where I'm targeting. I'm targeting the open part of the field is right here, and you guys will see this is where I'm trying to throw it to. Ebron is about to break free. If I just pass this, lead him a little bit, that's an easy 20 yards, and I get hit as I throw. Let's go ahead and try to pick up the first down. Juju or Johnson are probably going to end up open on this play just based off of that giant space on the left side of the ball here. So let's go ahead and give it to Johnson. Nice and easy pickup. Might have given me the first down. Yep, they did go ahead and give it to me. But again, on this play, I probably could have audibled this to even just a curl or something on Juju. I could have audibled a couple of different hot routes, but you know, knowing the way that route goes, Deontay's just gonna be open there for the easy completion because of that open piece of the field. You can go with the Y corner again. This is one where I think it's worth sending Ebron deep because we might be able to get the seam open because of that big gap. There's nobody immediately on him. Safety came up. Easy completion. So whether that safety came up or came down, they were in a tough spot because there was no help on covering Ebron on this play. This, I think, in my opinion, is one of the easier uh, kind of adjustments to recognize. You know, you have a guy uncovered like this. You're trying to throw him the ball either here or over top of this defender because you're going to force this defender to do one of two things. If he's in man coverage, yeah, he might have a good opportunity of covering you. Obviously, he came up and, and that sacrifices a massive part of the field but if he didn't come up think about it if he just if he dropped back into coverage where the other safety was back this way you have an easy completion to right here where Eric Ebron is you know there's no, there's literally nobody covering him and the chances of the linebacker or the defensive back actually getting there are pretty low obviously going against a user they would probably drop back and cover that but uh, kind of emphasizes the fact that you know you do still want to look for that open part and try to have somebody there to be able to attack that. Now I'm going to just mix things up, go with a halfback screen because I haven't done anything like that yet. We can go with a nice clear out here. Looks like Ebron might get open again, so we'll certainly be looking for him. But if he doesn't get open, I'm probably assuming that Claypool will get open when he clears guys out over top. Ebron gets open over the middle and a nice easy touchdown. So first couple of drives didn't turn out as successful as we would have liked. Obviously that fumble hurt us a little bit. Um, but you guys, I think hopefully understand what I'm looking for here. You know, I'm looking for these open lanes. I'm looking for, you know, I know that these safeties are back. And so Ebron's running a bit of a streak route kind of up and over the middle. So, you know, he has a very good possibility of getting open. And then obviously I'm looking for dump offs underneath if he doesn't. Um, but, you know, these are things that you guys can bet on. So, you know, they clearly drop back into a cover too. The safeties just drop back and Ebron took advantage of that with his route because there was nobody there to be able to cover this. This is throwing to the open part of the field. Now, what I will say is that, uh, you know, you obviously want to look, try to look at what the defense is doing coverage wise, but you don't want to be totally dependent on what the defense looks like they're doing coverage wise. Cause if you're, you're playing a good defense or a good user, they're going to vary up what they do defensively and give you different looks. And so they might fool you. And if, you know, they come out in a coverage that you weren't expecting, that could cause you to throw a bad ball, turn it over, whatever it might be. Um, you still want to have the availability to, to pass it to others 
other other players if that doesn't get open and so what i also want to show you guys on this route is if ebron didn't get open there let's say he got covered i was telling you guys early on that i would be looking underneath because he would probably clear out this linebacker and that's exactly what happens watch he clears out this linebacker and then the middle of the field right here is wide open if i just waited one more second i would have very easily had uh chase claypool underneath which i called from the beginning so it's not always going to work in terms of purely targeting the open part of the field but you can see it working right here you know i'm looking for this part of the field as open ebron does get open and i get lucky there but at the very least i would have had chase claypool coming open underneath in addition to that Hopefully this actually helps you guys out. Hopefully, you know, for those that are newer, that aren't as experienced with offense, maybe this helps you guys out a bit. I know that I've been watching uh, some newer people play recently, and it seems like they're not necessarily being patient with their throws, not necessarily taking the time to identify what's going on with the defense. And it is pretty important for you guys to actually go out there and identify, you know, what the defense is giving you. They're going to go with a booth review, so let's see if they actually... Uh, confirm this one or not and I think we can uh, we can go ahead and sim forward and try to play another drive I suppose did we get the ball this time we did let's go ahead and try to play one more open part of the field I'm gonna audible Jalen Samuels to attack between the coverage and he got open so I was looking for the open, the opening between the coverage players there. Here, we could have a couple different things going on. I don't like the play selection it's giving me. Vertical Y shake should be good. They're going to have blitzing players, and so Ebron will be probably one-on-one -on -one with this linebacker for a good opportunity at a catch, and that is the case. Go ahead, hurry up maybe. They're caught out in a blitz again. This time I'm going to look for Johnson coming to attack that type of space. Deontay Johnson with a nice catch. Could have waited probably a little bit longer to have a little bit less risky of a throw on that one here. They're giving me a wide open look on this run, so obviously that's where I want to run the football, you know, right between that hole. 69 did a pretty bad job of actually picking up his man and blocking. Not giving me a lot of pass plays, that's for sure. I don't necessarily love what it's giving me here. I think tight end drive might be acceptable. Pretty easy completion underneath. I see the middle part of the field's open here, hopefully, so we're going to audible to something that attacks that part of the field. Wide open, nice easy catch and completion, and hopefully we can tie this game up, and then I'm just going to leave it off there. Uh, and hopefully somebody got something out of this video. I know that I talk a lot about targeting the open part of the field, and that's kind of... It, it's super important uh, for, for you to develop that type of a skill. Chase Claypool drops that one. We go with a halfback dive. I don't like what they're giving us. Slant or a stretch could be decent here. Let's go with the uh, the zone, rather, not stretch. Good blocks. James Conner almost punches that one in for the touchdown. You guys can see on this play what I'm looking at is one less player to block on the left side as opposed to the right side. So in the uh, in the dive play, I didn't like what they were giving me because I have one-on-one -on -one matchups with all these linemen, so there's nobody to pick up this linebacker that's in the gap, which is problematic for me. There's also nobody to pick up this linebacker. However, if I run this play to the left side, number 78 should go up and get that linebacker, and he does. He does a nice job of doing that. I actually did a pretty poor job of cutting off of his block and going up for the, the touchdown because I probably should have scored there. Uh, but I, I audibled to a run to the left side because... I know that 78 can go up and get him, but if I were to run to the right side, who is going to pick up this extra blocker here or this extra defender here on the outside because the safety is up in coverage? So, again, looking to the open part of the field in terms of a running play, 
was the left side here with a chance for one-on-one -on -one blocking, which gives me, should have given me the touchdown, but let's go ahead and try to punch it in here. We could go with maybe a strong toss or something like that. I don't like what they're giving me necessarily. I really don't like any play that they're giving me here. I could maybe do a play action. We get decent blocking up the middle and we actually punch it in for a touchdown. So hopefully this video helps you guys out in some way. I know that early on uh, we had that fumble and everything, but tie up the ball game here. As you guys can see, uh, you know, targeting the field specifically, I'm not even really running plays that I know work or anything like that. Targeting the open part of the field can be useful for you guys. Imagine getting good at this skill. You guys can go watch my gameplay in the Steelers franchise and you guys will see it in action. You know, I call plays that I know work work and not only that I have the skill set to attack the open part of the field you combine those things and once you get good at it you're able to do pretty well against users and AI so hopefully that somebody finds this video useful if you did make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below what you guys think and subscribe to the channel if you're new uh, not much else to say about it other than that make sure you guys are practicing your ability at targeting the open parts of the field I'll see you guys in the next one